lesson one of the new complete Go course. In this video, I'm going to help you to start to take your first steps with Go. So we are going to talk about a little bit the history of Go, why you should use Go, which are the benefits using Go, and how to install and configure Go. Let's start. First of all, a little bit of history of Go. Go is a programming language that was developed at Google, but it was created in 2007 and it was announced two years later in 2009 as open source project. Since then, Go has been used for developing other well-known technologies like Docker, Kubernetes, and Terraform. And right now, more than 2,000 companies are using Go, including, of course, Google, but also Netflix, Uber, Pinterest, and many more. Why you should use Go? This is important. Go is expressive, concise, and clean programming language. The programs written in Go can run on Unix systems, such as Linux and macOS, but also on Windows. Go has a lot of capabilities, like the readability for other programming languages, like for example, Python, and JavaScript, static typing and runtime efficiency taking from C, and high performance networking and multiprocessing. Which are the use cases where you should use Go? When you want to create some system level applications, to implement some distributed systems, but also to create cloud native applications and also web applications. There is a lot of benefits to use Go. The important ones, of course, is Go license is 100% open source. As I said before, the Go programs compile to a single self-contained binary, make it easier to share and distribute. Go also provides an automatic memory management, including the garbage collector. The compilation and execution are fast. And of course, Go is focusing a lot on the concurrency. After this brief introduction about Go, Let's start, put a hand on. First, we need to install and configure Go. Before you start creating any application with Go, you need to set up your development environment. Open the browser and go inside the official documentation of Go, go.dev. Then you can click on the download button. When you land inside the downloads page, you need to select your system, Windows, macOS or Linux. In my case, I'm going to select macOS. Perfect. I'm going to open it. I'm going to click on continue, install. Perfect. The installation was successful. Now I can close the window and then I have to follow the installation instructions. Let's go here. So again, what I said, download and install. I select of course go for my system for Mac. And then here you need to follow all the instruction based on your system. Let's imagine that you are going to install go on windows. You can click here and you need to follow all these instructions. Nothing is complex, it's very easy to, to understand. For me, uh, I open the package file, this is done. The package installed the Go should be inside uh, slash user slash local slash Go. Perfect. And now to verify that Go has been successfully installed, I need to open the terminal and type Go version. This Go version um, command, you should do it also if you are installing Go on Windows, but also if you are installing Go on Linux. So I'm going to open the terminal. This is my terminal. I'm going to type Go space version. Yes, the version of Go 1.19.2 has been successfully installed in my machine. And I'm, I'm ready to create my first project. Let's do a summary on what we have done inside the lesson one. We talk about a little bit the history of Go, why you should use Go, which are the benefits of using Go as programming language, and finally, how to install and configure Go, but also how to check 
if go has successfully been installed in your machine with the command go version. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload and see you in the next lesson, lesson 2, bye!